The following video is a tutorial on the basics of the 3x logic portal. First thing we're going to do is launch our browser and go to the web page. Go to log in. When you first log in, you're going to see the event log. The event log is just a running list of recent activities who's been uh, going through doors, walking through Rexus. You can scroll up and down and see various events here. We're going to go to the people tab first. This is where we go if we want to add a new card holder. To add a new card holder, we're going to hit the create person option on the left hand side. Well, you're going to see there are some fields that are outlined in red. These are required fields. So we're going to fill in the first name, the last name. We want to assign them to a group. Um, we can assign different privileges to groups. So if certain card holders should have access to certain doors, you're going to want to make sure you assign them to the correct group. For this particular uh, video, we're going to assign this user to the test group. We also want to assign them a role. Is this user going to be uh, just a standard user? Or are they going to be human resource or supervisor, someone who can log into the system and actually make changes? Under credential, we can assign this user a mobile credential. There's no licenses available, but if they did have licenses available, with the mobile credential, a user could go in and out of a door with an app on their phone. We can assign this card holder a badge, which would be a standard card. This is where we'd enter the site code, the facility code, and the card number. And if we had a PIN code, we'd also enter the PIN code here. I'm not going to assign any credentials or badges to this user. I'm just going to hit create. We're back at the people tab now. If I wanted to edit the card holder we just created or any other card holder, we'd come here to person and we could scroll up and down until we find that card holder or we could search for them up here. I'm going to search for the card holder I just created. I can double click on this card holder and change any of the information. Including their credentials, badges, role. When I'm done making my changes, I'm going to hit save. If we want to delete a user, we can right click on them and go to delete person. Next, we're going to go to, te uh, to Doors. From the Doors tab, we could momentarily unlock a door. Uh, you'd want to do this if somebody was in front of the door and you wanted to give them just enough time to open and walk in. If you needed to keep a door permanently open, you could unlock the door. If you wanted to keep a door permanently locked, you could lock the door. And when you're done manually controlling the door, you're going to want to put the door back to its schedule. So you're going to want to click revert to schedule. Um, always remember to click revert to schedule once you're done manually uh, controlling the doors. Um, I want to jump back to people real quick. We mentioned earlier that different card holders can be a part of different groups. I just want to show you that. Over here under the people tab, you can go to groups and you could add uh, additional groups. So for instance, if I'm going to click create group here, if we have a maintenance crew, we could create a maintenance, uh, maintenance group. And we'd assigned uh, the maintenance crew to this particular group. Um, the last item on this section uh, the last item here uh, on the top is the reports tab so you could click the reports tab and there's a list of reports here it's pretty straightforward you click on the report you want to run um, edit any info um, such as the start time and the end time and the doors that you want involved in that particular report the people 
then you can generate the report. If you assign mobile credentials to anyone, this is where you would create a QR activation code. So uh, this report would uh, generate a QR code that you could assign to any uh, card holders that have a mobile credential and also include all the instructions they need. So just to summarize, when you first log in, you're gonna get the events over here, where it's just a running log of recent activity at different doors. Uh, the second tab here we have is people. Uh, under person, we can create and edit card holders. Under groups, we can create and edit groups and different groups can have different privileges. The reports tab allow us to run different reports and the doors tab allows us to control doors manually if we want to lock, unlock. On the bottom left hand side here you have a little legend that will show you the status of all the doors. You can put your mouse over any of these icons and it will tell you exactly what that icon means. Uh, next I'm going to go over to the configuration section. If you want to switch back to the section we're in previously, which is the home section, you would click on home. Uh, going back to configuration again. So uh, here in the configuration section, I want to show you schedules. So we may want to apply schedules to a door's unlock schedule. So we can have a door unlocked during a certain time period, or we may want to apply a schedule to a group's access privileges so they will only have access to doors during a certain schedule. Uh, the always and the never schedule default schedules. Uh, we're going to add a new schedule here. We'll call this uh, sample unlock schedule. All right. I'm going to put 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I like uh, to give this schedule a name that'll let me know the, the duration of the schedule. Uh, after we give the schedule a name, we're going to want to um, assign the schedule uh, a time period. So for this particular schedule, we're going to do Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So what I'm going to do here is highlight 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. You can assign schedules uh, for the holiday also if you want to here by clicking add holiday set. I'm not going to assign any holidays to the schedule. I'm going to hit create. Now you'll notice we have a new uh, schedule here. Sample unlock schedule 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And you can see this grid goes from 8 a.m. to 1600 which is 4 p.m. Next, we're going to take this schedule we just created and apply it to an unlock schedule for the door. So I'm going to go to the doors. We're going to go to behaviors. I'm going to double click on this door. And for the unlock schedule, we're going to say unlock between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Now, we could stop here and just hit save and this door will open every uh, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. and then lock again Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. I just wanna show you the first in option over here, enable first in. Uh, if you enable the first in option, that door will not unlock until the first person comes in for the day. Uh, this is useful for a holiday. Uh, if you don't um, have the holidays um, manually defined or if there's a snow day or other event where no one else uh, comes into the office, you don't have to worry that the door is going to stay unlocked um, because uh, since you never had that first person come in, the door will not unlock. Um, there's also an option here to uh, for, the, for the first in to give a few minutes before the schedule. So if we were to say 30 minutes before schedule, that means that uh, if somebody comes in um, up to 30 minutes before this schedule, um, that unlock schedule will be active. So the unlock schedule, for it to be active, somebody has to come in first um, and then the door uh, unlock schedule will activate. So I'm going to hit save. Uh, so we just applied an unlock schedule to this, uh, to this door. Um, 
Next, uh, what I want to show you uh, is how to take that same schedule and apply it to the privileges for a group. So we're going to go to groups. Now, um, just a reminder here, don't confuse this groups and this doors with the previous section before we were in the home section. So in the home section, we have groups here and we have doors here. But uh, now we're in the configuration section uh, under groups. Um, so let's say that maintenance department should uh, only have access to doors during certain hours. I'm going to go to maintenance. Um, I, I'm sorry, we're going to go to rules and we're going to create a rule for the maintenance department. Uh, the rule is going to be an access privilege rule. The access is going to be during our schedule. It's going to apply to the maintenance group. And it's going to be for the door outside coming in. I'm going to create that rule. And now we have a rule that says um, the maintenance department has access to the outside door from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. They won't have access other times. Now, obviously, this rule doesn't make any sense because that's also the unlocked schedule for the door. Um, but, of course, we could create a separate schedule outside of that unlocked schedule and uh, assign it to this rule the same way. So just to summarize what we went through here, uh, first of all, we're in configuration, not in the home section. Uh, we went to schedules. We created a schedule. This is our sample schedule here. Uh, we took that schedule. And we went to doors and we created a behavior for this particular door that says it'll be unlocked during that schedule. Uh, we said the door will not unlock until somebody comes in first. So that's the first thing. Uh, then we uh, took that same schedule and we created a rule for the maintenance um, group. And we said that the maintenance group only has access to the outside door during our 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. schedule. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.